In this tutorial, we are going to look at how you can make a split menu in your header. And I'm going to show you very quickly what a split menu is in case you were like a split header. And actually this can be achieved in Brizzy Free and Brizzy Pro. It can be achieved in any theme that allows you to create more than one menu. So that you have to stick somewhere on a post-it in front of you. You need the ability to be able to create two menus. In front of me, I have my, is this my home page? Yes, it's my home page. Let's go into edit page with Brizzy. Currently, I am using Brizzy Pro. And the reason I'm using it, because within Brizzy Pro, you get pre-made headers, and there's actually a split header, a split menu, already in one of the header blocks. So I'm just going to use that. The idea behind all of these are the same, whether it's in the theme, whether it's in Brizzy Free, whether it's Brizzy Cloud, of course, Pro, and then Brizzy WordPress Pro. Let's go down here and say, bring in a new block. To the left header, and then this one here. So you have an idea of what is a split menu. It's a header that has a logo in the middle and then menu on the left and menu on the right. Click for it to load. Here's my header block. Let's just reorder it, grab and drag it to the top. And like normal, you will have to bring in your menus over here. Currently, I don't have a menu. So when I go to the settings, I click here on the hamburger, you will see under select the menu, mayo, absolutely nothing. Let's just quickly change the logo in the middle. So at least we have something a little bit more personalized going on here for our holiday resort. There's a little logo in there. An image, if we want it to be scaled correctly, need to go height at 100%. Settings and then height, double click, type in 100, enter, and there you go. And now you can grab, click on it, grab the handles and drag it to the size you would like. Right on. Update it. Let's go to our dashboard. And first, let's have a look at all the pages we've got. When you're working with a split menu, the idea behind it is that you have half of your menu on the left of the logo and half of the menu on the right. So if you can have equal left and right, like three, three or two, two, that works well. You can still go for, you know, two on the left and three on the right. You can sort that out, but the idea is to have them equal. So in this case, I have your six pages. Activities, contact, dining, home, offers, rooms. And I read that out because maybe you can't read. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a menu for three of these. This will be our left menu. Then we'll create a menu for three of these, and that will be our right menu. We go to appearance, we go to menus. And because I have no menu yet, I need to create my first one. Go to menu name, and I'll call this left menu. Left menu. Create menu. And view all. I will put home in here. Actually, when you often work with a split menu, your logo should be your home page. And we can do that if I remember to do that. I'm just going to click on these contact. We will not. So let's go to dining. Take these three and add them. And I'll leave it like so. But I'll put home here because I want it to be on the right adjacent to the logo. Now, this is now splitting hairs, but let's go for that. Save the menu, dining, activities, and home. I have to remember which three I selected. But now we have to create a menu for the right side. Create a new menu over here. And then you go and call it right menu. Click on view all and home contact offers and rooms and add these three. And I want contact here. Okay. And save the menu. Now we go back to our pages, all pages, and we select our home page. And we can just hover over a home and select the quick link edit with Brizzy. Go to your first menu on the left, and then select from the drop down left menu. And let's style this one. And this is something that I would also highly recommend you do before you go to that one. Style this one. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Click on it. We go to T for Topography. Let's put it on later because it's a little bit better to read. I'm going to take it down to 19. 
later spacing I will put on zero line height I like it always on one let's see how that looks good and what I will do here is I will align it like so now what I'm going to do is click here duplicate it and click this one and drag it there the reason I did that is because I don't want to format it again so I'm just gonna delete this one click on it where here and let's align it to the left go to the menu and we select right menu and look at that you've created a split menu let's save our work first update and then have a quick look on the front end there we go so if I click on offers it will take me to that page and remember your offers page won't have a header at the top you will have to go and add that in currently we don't have block conditions so you need to add these manually for each and every page let's close this let's go to the image click on that click on the link on the image and then here site URL if it is not selected if it looks like this link to click here on these little three disks and you choose site URL and that will make sure that when people click on it it will go to the home page right there I just showed you something you probably didn't know um, saving the work again just to make sure we lock that down and then on the front end let's click on that and just see if it reloads our home page for us and indeed it did you can do the same in Brizzy free you just build it out in a custom block and you can also do it with themes the only thing like I mentioned to you at the beginning you will need to create two menus and your theme must be able to place two menus most free themes won't allow you to do that they will only have the position for one menu but when you go to pro ones and you upgrade a little bit you'll be able to have two however I think in this case I am using Bloxy and I think Bloxy allows two so let's go to that I'll just choose a random one so I'll quickly show you how you can do it with the Bloxy theme go to the dining page and first we have to activate this page then so that it will draw the template from the theme and not from Brizzy so edit page with Brizzy and in the sidebar on the left go here to the page icon click on that and from the page template you select default you wait for it to reload and now we've got the themes header and layout applied to this page so you can see we can make some changes up there update this and let's go to the front end this is our dining page and once we've gone through these procedures I'll just quickly show you the theme that I'm using here which is the free theme free theme tongue twister there for me to edit this within the theme you will have to go to customize here and we can just click here on the WordPress toolbar it will open the customizer for us and if you have no idea about Bloxy theme you see here Bloxy at the top you're going to be very impressed with all the pro features that is included in this free theme we go to header and you will see here at the bottom there is a header builder and now I have to remember very carefully how to do all of this so you can see here on the left you have a menu one and a menu two and that is exactly what we need and we need the logo now currently you will see the logo up here and it's represented by this little element here and you see the menu and the search up represented there I'm going to remove the search and then I'm going to click you see the hand there click and hold and I'm drag it to the middle and then drop it there aha uh -huh, did you see what I did there now I grab menu one and I'm going to drop it to the left of the logo and drag menu two here to the right and there we've achieved the same so if I click here on the logo it will open the settings here for me I can click on image select the logo and I do exactly the same that I had done previously within Brizzy Pro Ooh, that looks pretty pretty nice and then publish I'm not going to care about the page title at this moment we can do remove that when we want so close the customizer and you see here I have that split menu in my header all done with a free theme so you can do it with Brizzy Pro that is the one that we had originally tackled as so and then that one was dining you can do it with your theme and you can also build out a custom block with Brizzy free and you can do the same in Brizzy Cloud Pro 
for more tutorials and how-to videos and other interesting stuff, remember to subscribe here to YouTube. You can also go over to Facebook, join the community over there. Some useful stuff going over there, a lot of conversation, and visit us at brizzy.io and brizzy.cloud. This is JP here with Brizzy.